X inmates of Reddit, what was the stupidest thing you've seen a new inmate do on his first day in prison? Shit all over a suicide cell to make a point then stuck in there with their masterpiece. A new guy was in his 50s and had developed addiction problems later in life. He somehow thought that his age afforded him control of the remote for the only TV on the range. The 10 inmates that rushed his cell kicked the living shit out of him and threw him down the stairs felt otherwise. There was an old myth that if you challenge the meanest guy in your block to a fight everyone else would leave you alone. It's true, no one will torment you if you are dead. Kid tried it and got dropped off the fifth tier. First day in gen pop last day in gen pop. Most guys just want to do their time alone. Most rape and violence in prison is about debt or tax. If you play it straight 98% of guys will just leave you alone effing someone up on the yard makes your time worse, not better. Loss of privilege, of time in solitary, most people don't want that. Most of the straight up psychopaths are in 23 over 1 lockdown anyway. You get in debt or shoot your mouth off, and you will get settled or taxed, both are to be avoided. Tell literally everyone how he was going to escape, and showed off all the tools he was using. Man it really depends on the block you're in by how much you can get away with. But one time we had someone who got kicked out of another dorm for snitching on someone get placed in our dorm, and immediately got his ass beat. And also fake claiming you're in a gang is a very quick way to get jumped. And also don't owe people money. Collect call his grandma and just cuss her out and talk her like dog shit because she didn't want to put her house up for collateral to bail him out. Where I was in prison they utilized 40mm soft round launchers to respond to group disturbances. Let me tell you, they weren't soft. Kid comes in thinking he's still hardcore from juvenile hall because guards there didn't do anything when people fought. Decided to up and join a gang that he knew nothing about on his first day, thought he was tough, and started to diss the gang they had high tensions with at the time, and started a group disturbance. Coes respond, tell him to get down, he refuses and curses at them, boom 40mm to his face, was an accidental shot to the face according to the co, face was distorted as hell after. Fractured skull. On his first day. This may not have been his first day, but I will never forget this. This while I was in the intake tank which is the first tank or section you go into after being processed in county. This young kid comes into county and keeps complaining that he doesn't get his cannabinol and other marijuana related prescriptions in jail. He was really arrogant and constant pissing everyone off. During count one day as we were all in our bunks he starts complaining again, and then says to the guard what, if we all riot immediately like 10 other guys yell very loudly we don't know, or agree with him. The guard then says what the f did you say? The kid then continues about rioting, and that he has rights. Everyone in the tank effing stays like frozen in their bunk trying their best to be non-threatening, and also show they have no interest in what this moron is saying. So the guard picks him up by his throat and slams him into the wall. After scaring the kid shitless, he explains he has a new charge for inciting a riot. Kid gets hauled off to solitary. Never saw him again, but I heard he spent the rest of his 306090 whatever amount days in solitary. Absolutely insane to me that he'd say that in a refing county jail. Father-in-law did 12 years on a second degree murder app back in the very early 90s. He told me that one time this new guy plopped himself down at the Hells Angels table and started eating breakfast. When he was told to move, he ignored them. After breakfast, the co's ended up having to cut through about six rolls of duct tape to get the guy loose. He never sat near the house again. Guy came and got on the top bunk within 10 minutes dude rolled off it and smacked his head on the concrete. Started to have a seizure, guards eventually came and just videotaped him for a while in the middle of the room. 
Eventually they walked him out when he stopped, but then he ran into the wall and fell down then started to seizure again. They just kept filming. Nobody really thought he was having seizures, but he hit his head pretty bad, so they took him to the infirmary. On the yard some Polish guy went up to every single man and shook hands and introduced himself. Hello Im Pavel. One guy bragging about what he did to get himself in jail. Other dude showering barefoot. Great way to get convicted. Great way to get jungle fungus. Not shower for weeks. He got his clothes ripped up and he was thrown half naked into the showers. They also tuned him up pretty good. This weird guy named Robert from the TV show 60 Days In has a couple stories that could be in this thread. The stupidest may have been when he covered the prison camera with a sheet. Went to solitary 30 days. He quit the program halfway. Got busted for smoking weed with two buddies. When we put in the holding cell one of them wanted mark the event by carving his name in the paint on the cell door. When we got put in a cell later they came back and took him to solitary for a week. Admit that he was in for sexual assault and being a pedo. And then it was about 8pm and we found out he was a chronic masturbator and he would not stop jacking off in his bunk. He was 22. And it was jail, not prison, so at that moment, we had may I I 12 to 15 people in our cell. Some guy woke up from a nap and thought he was having a seizure, so he went to go check on him. What a goddamn shock they both had. Edit, spelling and grammar. Excuse me, sir, there seems to be a mistake. I'm supposed to be getting out of prison today. When the skinny little street thug white kid walked across the yard and threw a Mayan asterisk 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 at a bench full of full blown crips. Didn't see him much after that shit storm. Reach across some owns food. I did 14 years in federal prison for wire fraud. I got out last February. I'm 36. Some things I can say are these. Backslash while your sexuality may not be an issue outside of prison, inside prison, male inmates who are openly gay are generally disrespected. Backslash gambling and drugs create debts that are at some point unable to be paid and can result in serious issues for yourself. Backslash most prisons operate a social hierarchy based on gang affiliations or hometowns, although there can be large separations based on race. However, rapists and child molesters will basically be free game for anyone who wants to take their shit or torment them. Backslash you might have been a badass outside of prison, but generally you can't fight several people at once, which is what would happen if you talk about how much of a badass you are. Keep your shit to yourself and don't talk crazy to people, which is seen as disrespect. Respect slash disrespect has a different meaning in prison and you'll figure it out. Backslash best to just keep to yourself, unless as much as possible, unless you want to embrace prison life and become institutionalized. Prison is not a place to make friends. Not wearing shower shoes in the shower. Gross. That's where everyone jacks off and comes all over the floor not to mention W.E. disease they've got. Not prison, but jail. I was getting put in irons with a tiny little shit next to me going to a court date. He looks at me and says loud as f what did you do? I looked at him and said we're going to our arraignments are you effing stupid? It's sad when the co's and deps laugh out loud. Goofy looking kid, curly hair, thick glasses. He comes in and for some reason he befriends me. He starts telling me what he did, sexual assault if a minor. I told him not to be telling nobody that shit, because it'll get you in trouble. The rest of that day and the next, I bailed out by then, I could hear him from across the hall telling other people. Not surprised if he's been kicked around a few times. Kid gets booked in, hits the unit and starts borrowing food and other commissary items. Before he knew it, he was $200 in the hole. 
Problem is, in jail and prison, most people who are willing to loan items out expect two or three of the same item back, yeah no, interest. Very easy way to get yourself indebted is by borrowing any food or other items. Never get in debt while incarcerated. A slight twist, we had a pink wet floor sign that we would put up in the entrance to the showers, so everyone knew there was someone in there jerking off. The fun game was to watch the new guys, myself included, innocently walk into the entrance to the showers that very first time, past the pink wet floor sign, and then see him come skittering back out a few moments later. Great you made it to the end, now smash that like button, and subscribe for even more videos like this one.